just a little bit of an update on the progress on the kit car my present issue i'm having is the closeness of the master cylinder brakes master cylinder to the throttle body since fitting it all on the engine engine uh, obviously someone who was a bit more savvy would have moved the engine forward a little bit but obviously i didn't get the uh the manifold to quite late in the build didn't realize how close it's going to be i had been hoping for a miracle in the form of a a smaller mass end to go on the servo obviously like the feel of the servo that i put on there when i really built it it's come off a sierra sapphire with the master cylinder as well and it obviously works on the traditional normal pendulum type oem pedal box which i quite prefer that rather than the floor metal one so i'll try and keep the same sort of look about it if i can so that's why i obviously stuck with it as it is unfortunately i haven't been able to find a small mass end to go on the original fitment uh, and the other option was to try and bring the um, throttle bodies forward by having a different inlet manifold made up to just bring through it about an inch or so. Had to cap supplies for that, but no one's really uh, got back to me. I can't come foot too, car, too far forward on it anyway, because this is only about an inch between the end of the trumpet here and the edge of the bonnet. Uh, obviously there's a nice big hole cut out for the, the trumpets. At the moment, it's uh, extremely close. Normally the, uh, the feed for the foot or the ejectors come straight through as it does on the others. This one was so close, I had mean, to sneak it all the way around here, come through at an angle and then go over to the fuel regulator. Um, obviously it's not ideal, doesn't look very good. Uh, the snot is nudge, I mean I've had an engine uh, get caught before with a, with a high drain cover, push the engine back quite a bit. Um, far much more than that, so I do need to sort this out. So at the moment I'm looking at, well I'm actually going to show you in a minute, I'm actually going to be changing the master cylinder, taking the servo off, which I'm not that keen on, I do like the feel of it, but um, it's something I'm going to, have to, going to have to sacrifice and uh, give it a go. I'm going to try not to destroy anything, so if I do need to go back to having the same servo I can, um, so I'm just going to try and fit adapter plates when it's to try and mount something different. So what I've come up with so far is an origin, original mini master cylinder conversion. I believe these were pretty popular with the original minis. You should be mounted like that, hence why it's got a reservoir cap on the top, which I'm going to have to sort out. Obviously, I hope by taking the servo off, I'm going to gain about two inches on it. So that will be around about there. And then gives me quite a bit more room to spare at the front here. Obviously, I won't then, uh, need the servo pipes that will come out. So a bit less pipe work in the engine bay as well. Gives a bit more room for the fuel regulator that's presently in the breeze. So I've got it off. I'm just about to put it in the powder cutting oven to uh, powder cut that and a couple of bits and pieces. So it should tie up the engine bay a little bit more. A little bit concerned about the, the feel of the pedal, but they still have to get used to. I've gone for the mini one because it's got the, the right sort of bores. It's got two different si uh, bore sizes. It's obviously stepped in the middle, so it gives you the right uh, bit of pressure for the back and the same for the front. So hopefully I won't have to uh, stand on it to make it stop. So I'm going to start taking the master in the servo off. Obviously I'm going to have to extend this to how it uh, fits onto the um, brake pedal. Obviously copy or try and replicate, cut off whatever do on the uh, other one. I'd rather not try and uh, damage anything that's coming off in case I want to go backwards, as I said. Um, and make some adapter up to make this line up within the existing fitting. So probably be a couple of series of videos to try and get me through this. Hopefully by the time you've watched the first one, it's already been done. And let's see how we get on. Right, I've had a bit of a fight getting the servo mask cinder off. Obviously, uh, should have done a bit more preparation work as part of my rough build, but I just had a bit of chassis, and uh, yeah, I was just trying to obviously progress things as quick as I can. But obviously, if I'd done a full rough build like I did the first time, actually driving the, the car up and down the alleyway when I first built the car, that showed all the uh, issues we needed, but not, not uh, having everything fitted at the time of putting the engine and the um, manifold and brakes on obviously pays uh, pay the price. So, a bit of a struggle getting out some of the bolts are in here. Uh, basically the servo has two belts that go through there and there's two fixings for that there is actually one for the pedal box which um, I shouldn't have taken out which is just holds the pedal box to the actual bulkhead which I can put back in again it's not attached to the the servo it's something I uh, forgot about so I had to take the original reservoir off which normally used to set like that it's just have to knock a, a scroll pin out which goes through there and I had sort of looked at this when I when it first arrived. By a pure fluke, the distance from here to here on both of these is about the same. They both got these 
sort of obviously edge on here. So the Sierra one actually fits on the mini one. It goes in. It's about two or three mil difference. It goes in. It sat reasonably well. I'm hoping for good things. It just means I haven't got to have a separate reservoirs for this if it goes ahead. And obviously you put plonking it on here. There will be a bit of a distance plate. I'm expecting to put a, a bit of a, um, an adapter plate between the two. But just literally purely holding it on there. The reservoir is like bang on vertical. You couldn't have planned it any better. And I've now got a nice sort of three inch gap between the end of the mass cylinder and obviously the first throttle body, which is what I'll be, uh, be aiming for. And I can obviously put the pipe back to as it should be. So I've now got to work out an adapter plate for that. I have obviously noticed that just removing that, staring through the hole, the pedal box bit we're aiming for is over to the right hand side. So I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to end up putting the end of that I knew I'd have to extend it actually onto the pedal box so we'll try and get a bit of a light shunt in there so the end of the brake pedal um server original one goes over to the uh, obviously in that hole in there which is set over quite away from the middle of the actual hole so I may end up sort of seeing if I can attach to the, or join the two sides of the pedal together and try and join to the left hand side eventually. I've probably got to take the pedal box out to get that pedal anyway, to try and fit a fixing point in. There's about a five inch gap from the pedal front edge to the bulkhead, maybe you make it six inches once I put an adapter plate in and give a bit more room to actually attach to the pedal. So it's progressing, it's taking a bit of time, but it's progressing, that's the main thing.